Welcome back to Kate's Giving. My name is Katie Marie, and if you're new around here, I'm doing this thing on my channel where all month long I'm posting a video every, about every day-ish because, like I said, mom life. So I don't know if I'll be able to post and upload every single day, but I am going to try. But we're just going to be revisiting older palettes along with some new palettes, just having a lot of fun talking about eyeshadow palettes this month, and I'm super excited. Hope you guys are enjoying it. As you guys just saw, I have Sophia here with me because she just woke up. But we are going to be diving into the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. Now, I did forget to do an intro, so obviously it's already on my eyes, but we're going to get to create the eye look together. If you have never seen this palette or forget what it looks like, this is the Safari Rain palette. It came out so Super limited edition back in the day, I guess like 20, 2019 or whatever. I forget exactly when it launched, but it was super limited edition. I did pick it up and then it was gone for a long time. Everyone was complaining, wanting it back. And then they brought it back for a limited time. So anyway, it's just a fantastic palette. I don't think it's available anymore, but if you did get your hands on it, let me know. And hopefully this video can give you some inspiration if you haven't picked it up. It's a great palette to pick up right now, especially as we're in the fall season, Thanksgiving. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous palette. I really like how the look turned out, but why don't we go ahead and just hop right in and show you guys how I got this look on my eyes today using the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to prime it with my Gerard Clean Canvas Eyeshadow Base. It's literally empty, but I think I can scrape enough out to just lightly prime both the eyes for this look, and then I'm going to officially be done. This is my second time purchasing this. I just like it for how quick and easy it is just to tap in a brush and get primed eyes. I don't have to get my fingers dirty, but uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to repurchase or not. Longevity wise, I still felt like, especially when in the, the summer when I was, and also when I'm oily, oilier, not as oily when I'm pregnant, but anyway, um, it wouldn't hold up the best, but it was really nice. It was pretty decent. Anyway, let's go into this palette. We have one, two, three, four mattes, and then the rest are shimmers. I don't think I can manage to put all the shimmers on my eyes. Can I manage to put all the mattes? Probably. Do I want to? Let me think about it because I do have pictures today with my kids are getting their school pictures. So I'm trying to decide how crazy I want to go for that. I think what I'm going to do is I'll use Matriarch on the outer corner with the green kind of blending it out. And I'll probably take this on the inner portion. I kind of like a warm cut crease. And then... Hmm. Actually, let me switch that around. I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I'll put this blending that out on the outer edge. I'll put the green in the crease. And then for the lid, I can focus on probably this in the green or this and this shade because this shade is also really pretty. But that way, the green with like this will really pop as opposed to these two shades. I mean, they'll still pop, but it would just be a little bit closer. I feel like different colors on the inner portion really makes the shimmers pop more. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll get started and see where this ends up. Let me get my brush. I'm gonna use the Sonia G Builder 3. I have a couple like high-end brushes. Sonia G, uh, Wayne Goss, what else do I have? Um, BK Beauty. BK Beauty, I've been sent them. What's up, Beauty? I've been sent them. But all the Sonia G, I get off of Macari because the prices scare me when I try to buy, uh, when I go look at them just on their websites. They're expensive. But I typically just kind of, um, on Macari, you can choose to like follow something so you're notified if there's new posts. So for a while, I was just following, um, you know, Sonia G and Wayne Goss. And then whenever they would post brushes, I'd wait for a pretty decent you know, kind of discount slash deal on it. And then I picked up a couple brushes. I think the first one I ever got, I paid full price. And I was like, okay, this is nice. But I don't want to spend that much money. So since then, I've been getting them off of Mercari. Purchasing them when people are getting rid of their brushes. This shade, it looks a little patchy. I mean, I guess it's going on okay. I am dealing with like a head. I'm recovering from a head cold, but also kind of allergies right now. We just had a really cold front come in and so the kids and I are all sorts of sniffly and miserable but also my eyes are watering a lot so hopefully that doesn't ruin this look who knows okay then I'm just gonna take clay I'm gonna tap it on top here like so and then just kind of start blending upward to blend it out this is a pretty shade nicely pigmented for sure and then typically with these shades I'm kind of wanting it to help mesh in the darkest shade I'll kind of blend down into it because it kind of helps it a little bit when I take on more of that color to blend it in. Am I even making sense? This is very early in the morning. I feel like I'm talking in circles right now. But uh, I don't know. I feel like as I mesh them, it makes getting the blend between the colors easier. Are you going to Yeah, baby's got to go sleep. Me? He's got a stuffed animal. He's playing with... Yep, put the baby down. 
baby Sophia is asleep in her room <laughs> and so he's using her little bed I have in here for when I'm she's awake and I'm in here and he's putting his animal to sleep in it okay so now I'm gonna go into let's go into Congo Basin and we're gonna put that in the crease this is a LR007 tapered brush I don't know what La Russe I got him like an Ipsy or something an Ipsy or a boxy charm but we're gonna put this all in here I remember this shade could get patchy, but if you're just kind of <laughs> aware of that, you could uh, get a really nice blend. So we're gonna pack it on and then I'll blend. Yeah, like that. So now let's blend upward because I'm only planning to use this shade in my crease or inner crease, I should say. You are all sorts of singing, Bubba. <laughs> Is your elephant sleeping? Yeah. Is she a good sleeper? Does she need the sound? You can go get her a toy to put in the bed with her. Yeah. Okay. Can, can you please turn that on? Yeah. Thank you. Don't touch it again. Thank you. Okay. There is a very clear, loud, in my opinion, vibrating noise going on, and it is the baby's little bassinet that, again, I keep in here for when I need her, you know, she's awake when I'm in here. And he just turned it on for his elephant and walked away. So, give me a minute. <laughs> if he doesn't come back, I'm gonna go over and turn that off because that's gotta be annoying to listen to. All right, I'm taking a little bit more of that first dark shade, was it Matriarch? I'm gonna put it in here, kind of make sure I'm connecting these two. Yeah, that um, br that green is a little patchy. I feel like um, it'd probably be best or like less evident of the patchiness if I just used it kind of like with maybe this matriarch or something and then just pat it down on top because then um, the darkness would help smooth it out because like blending it out looks fine, but where I have to uh, have it concentrate, it looks a little iffy. And especially since I'm gonna be putting shimmers down, I don't think you'll be able to see it at all, so I'm not worried about making it perfect. I love this orangey, burnt orange shade on the outer quarter clay. Very pretty. Okay, he came back and he's still playing with it, so I'm not gonna turn off the, the vibrating noise, so sorry. But at this point, let's go ahead and do the shimmers. Tigris is so beautiful, this shade right here. I remember it being so beautiful, as is, I wanna say Congo Basin is also really blinding. I think I also like, I liked them all, obviously. But I think for this look, we'll go with Lioness and then Congo Basin. I think that'll be really pretty, or, sh or not Congo Basin, what did I say? Lioness and Tigress. I feel like those two would be really pretty. Or should I do the green? Oh, I could do these two and this one first and then the green, that way it kind of swaps what I have going on in here because I have green and then more orange and I could do orange Mama. and then green. Mama. You know what, I'm gonna start with Tigress in the inner portion. If it's too dark for my inner, kind of inner half of my lid, I can put one of the other lighter shades on top Mama. to brighten it. All right. Ow. Well, that's nice and bright. I don't know why I was afraid it would be too dark. Okay, Levi, just look, okay? Okay, no touch? Yeah, look, no touch. Good job, bub. I can't remember if I said, but I did put glitter primer from NYX underneath this. Now I'm going to go into that green, which is Green Valley. Ooh, that's pretty. Her shimmers are nice. Neither of these have a ton of sparkle to them, but they're very good shimmers. I remember um, Amazon Basin had sparkles in it, but these are just more of like intense, really pretty shimmers. I like them for sure. Very pretty, very easy to go on. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back into that first shade. I forget, Tigress. Uh, tap it over, it's kind of making a yellow gold kind of where the two meet. I think it's really pretty, like that. That's pretty. All right, I'm just gonna take a clean brush and clean this up. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera because everyone wants to hang out in here now. But I'm just going to take, let's see, Matriarch underneath with clay and then for my inner corner highlight, we'll go ahead and use Congo Basin. Here it back. As you guys already saw in the intro, Sophia did wake up as I was finishing out my eye look. The kids have some school going on on the TV as I finish out this video. But this is the finished look, and per usual, I'll stick up close up so you guys can really see the look. But oh, it is beautiful. I love that tigress shade. It is so beautiful. I think I like tigress even more than the green valley, the green that I put on my lid. The green is gorgeous, but tigress is just so show stopping. It is stunning. There is no sparkle, like really intense sparkle, in any of the shimmers that I use. But like I said, Amazon Basin, and I would say, 
Lioness are both shimmers that do have that type of glittery sparkle. So as you turn your eyes, if you use those shades, you do see it. So in using this again, do I love it as much as I did back then? I would say yes. The color story is just so nice with the mattes and the shimmers. And I feel like the shimmers really do stand the test of time. They are maybe not as insanely, like I said, only two out of the one, two, three, four, five. I guess I can count, but the, out of the five shimmers in here, I would say really kind of stand up and have that sparkle to the shimmer that I feel like a lot of indie brands are bringing out these days. But still, even the shades that aren't super sparkly, they are gorgeous to work with. They're smooth, they're pigmented, they have a nice color to them. They're very, not metallic leaning, but they're very intense shimmer, so I really do like them. Yeah, are you about done here? Say, Mommy, I'm ready to go do other things right now. But anyway, so I do think it's kind of stood up to the test of time when it comes to, you know, just eyeshadow palettes that are launching nowadays does the quality still hold up? Absolutely. So still a fantastic palette. Still really did enjoy it. And I see no change in the formula since the last time I used it back in 2019 or whatever. So that's going to do it for this video. You're just going to show the back of them. I know she doesn't really like all the, who would like all the lights? Mom is a little crazy sometimes. But anyway, that's going to do it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. I hope you guys are enjoying the whole Kate's Giving uh, series that I'm doing on my channel. And yeah, with that said, we're going to get going and go start our day and do some school with the kids and try to stay warm because today is actually a chilly day outside. So with all that said, that's going to do it for me. As always, I'm over on Instagram. I'm LadyKD92 over there if you want to follow me. And I'll see you very soon in my next video, which hopefully will be tomorrow. Bye guys.